Why horseshoes? Hmm? It just seems, I don't know, quaint. Well, look around you. My nearest neighbor lives so oh, half a mile down the road. It ain't the city. We don't have nightclubs and pool halls to go hang out at. Pool halls? What is this, 1890? This is 1992, friend. We got shopping malls for teenagers, restaurants, clubs, whatever. But pool halls? I don't even know if they had those when I was a kid. Uh-huh. Well, time doesn't pass out here as quickly, I suppose. No need for all that, uh, uh stimulation. Ah, so you play horseshoes. Mm-hmm. Or read a good book? Develop photos you took for yourself? Go fly fishing? Well, it, it sounds idyllic. Quaint, but idyllic. And you just want to give up this home-cooked paradise? That's lonely, too. We could get you a nice place in the city. Ah, never was one for crowds. Thought you said you were lonely. I'd be just as lonely in a crowd. Sadie, she, uh, nobody else could really see me. Understand what I was. How do you figure? Uh, I, uh, what? Uh, after Saigon, when I got back, all these people were hugging their loved ones or protesting or whatever, and I don't know. I never felt more alone in all my life. I was home. I should have been happy, and I wasn't. Well, it wasn't a popular war. You lost friends, too, right? Yeah, but uh, when I got home, it, it was dark, and there was Sadie waiting for me. The porch light like a halo around her head. And I knew I wasn't alone anymore. Hmm. So you came back to your high school sweetheart. Yeah. I, I thought... I thought he'd have married her by then. I didn't think she'd wait for me. Why not? You're a handsome guy. I bet all sorts wanted you, especially back then. Women love a man in uniform. You see that house on the hill? Uh, what, the burned out one? I always wondered what happened there. Gary Gordon. Of the Gordon family. Went to high school with us. But, uh... Well, most of us were farm folk. Sadie, her dad, was the county judge, so for us, that's pretty high society. Hmm. The Gordons owned a lot of land, and all of that passed to Gary after his ma died. In high school, he'd been our quarterback after his pa paid off the school, but ah, he wasn't a bad athlete. Good-looking guy? Oh, a real James Dean. And he had eyes for Sadie. And poor her farm boy who couldn't play on the team versus the star quarterback? Shit, what kind of contest was that? Hey, who wouldn't want all this? <laughs> and yet, when I came home, there she was. Where was Gary? Did he serve too? Ah, oh, Gary was too rich to serve. Star quarterback had some health exemption. Didn't get drafted. Uh-huh. Uh, so then... Where was he? Running his dad's business. Trying to win her heart. Didn't work. Well, she invited him to the wedding. I didn't want him there, but, well, you know Sadie. Uh-huh. Well, the Gordons own most of the property around here, including the 200 acres surrounding that hill. Right. And he built a house. A house? W wait, that house? The very same. Looks like it was a mansion. It was. Why'd he build it? I don't know. To remind her what she'd given up, maybe. So, what happened to the wealthy Gary Gordon and his mansion? Well, he built it one year. Must have been 1966 or so. And he went inside and he just disappeared. Then one night, about a year later, there was a storm and boom. No more Gary Gordon. No more Gary Gordon. Huh. Maybe he was lonely, too. Maybe. Oh! <laughs> I won! <laughs> Guess this city slicker's still got it. What's next?
Don't you own a tractor? What? Well, uh, pigs, I guess. Goats, too. Mm -hmm. Some fellas have chickens and cows. Uh, that's all well and good, but what's the point of a horse? Horses are God's most beautiful creatures. <laughs> what? You just keep a horse around because they're beautiful? Horses belong on farms. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, you haven't got a saddle for them, so you don't ride them. He's no racehorse. Can't eat him. What's the point? Well, I don't see the point in a farm without a horse. Gotta have a horse. Uh, and what's this about them being beautiful? Beautiful, really. Beautiful, he says. Spindly legs and bloated bellies and those weird, weird teeth. Sleep standing up. Who sleeps standing up? Something wrong with that. Aren't you gonna say something? One day, one day maybe the speller will understand. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, to me, I mean. I keep apples here because he likes them. Likes the salt lick, too. Want to feed him one? Uh, nah, I'm good. Suit yourself. All right, here you go, boy. No, no, I gotta get going. Why don't you walk on out to pasture rest a spell? Oof. Horses give me the willies. Can't see why. What's the wheelbarrow for? Hauling. Hauling what? Manure. Ah, and what are we supposed to do with this crap? We are going to fertilize. Well, not now, it's October, but we're gonna put it in a nice big pile where it belongs. Uh, we? Well, you did say you wanted to help. Yeah, guess I did. So help. Pick up that shovel over there. We'll shovel it in, wheel it out, dump it, and we're good. And you do this every day? Mm-hmm. Most every day. And you want to keep doing this every day? It's my routine. Shoveling shit? Someone's got to do it. <laughs> that, uh, that isn't the first time you've told me that. Hmm. I remember. Vietnam. Yeah. You know, I did some digging on you, personally, not the shit kind. Know what I found? I reckon you'll tell me. You went back. Hmm. What happened that day in the valley? You saw the report. I'm not gonna talk about it. Come on. No. Suit yourself. But you got a medal. You didn't have to go back. Had a wife and kid here. In a time where most of us were trying to figure out how to stay home. You went back. You going somewhere with this? Hmm. Think it'd be fun if you told me why? While we're shoveling shit? I was recon. You know that, I reckon. I was in the hospital, staring at the ceiling. Magazines next to me on the bed. And I... I had this, uh... Moment. A moment of clarity. A revelation. Uh-huh. And the revelation was this. Them protesters weren't doing a damn thing. The, the hippies and the, the bands weren't changing anything. You know who was? Uh, the Vietnamese? The Russians? No. The news. You hit someone hard enough day in, day out with the realities of war, pretty soon they'll tire of it. Vietnam? That was our first time that close to war. So, uh, figured... Uh, you ain't the only one of us who's killed people. I think I have to be that.
that job back to 44. Turn it down for the same reason I went back. They were telling us our patriotic duty was to go and fight for our country. Well, that's what I did. You weren't recon when you went back, though. Went back with a camera. Talked them into letting me help with the press, keeping them safe and all that. So I did. And I took pictures. Took all the pictures I could. I fought in a different way. Did you win? We pulled out a lamp, didn't we? Mm-hmm. And now you're here. Great big war hero. Shoveling shit. Yeah. Shoveling shit. You know, back home they call you the pig farmer. That description is apt. And yet, you also have goats. I do also have goats. And a horse. And I had a dog. I tried cows once. Bill raised a neuter or something, but uh, when it died. Well, most people have, I don't know, chickens and cows. You got goats. Hmm. Is that uh, judgment I hear? <laughs> no judgment, no. Uh, just wondering. Why goats? Goat milk. Ah, there can't be much profit in that. Oh, well, there's enough. Besides, I had you. Have. You still have. As I've said, I'm no longer interested in that particular revenue stream. We're the ones who sever ties. And you don't want us severing ties. I believe I made myself clear. You know, <laughs> I feel like we've had this conversation a couple of times now. And you still don't seem to get that I'm done with this line is just going to look really silly at the end of the day. You were asking me about goats. <sighs> yeah, goats. I like them. They like to play. They'll eat just about anything. The milk's an acquired taste, but I've always liked the cheese. The meat's good with the right curry. A friend taught me that a while back. So, you like them for the utility? I like them because they're playful. Want to get started? Hmm? Started? Milking. Oh, hey, really? <laughs> I've always wanted to try that. Well, here's your chance. My goats are smart. They know what's up, so they'll just walk up. Mm, here they are. Come on. Now, they'll just take their positions here like they should. Got feed all ready for them. Just uh, you take a seat there. Uh, yeah, not very comfortable. <laughs> mm, suppose not. Well, now that we're seated, all you got to do is grab the teat with your thumb and forefinger. And pull? No, 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 don't pull. Just sort of rhythmically squeeze with the rest of your fingers. Gently. Pushing the milk out. Oh, like this? <laughs> Just like that, yes. All you gotta do is do that till the goat's out of milk. Huh. This is kinda nice. I found it relaxing. Well, I think I could get used to this. Mm, why don't you? Say what? Why not get used to this? What, and come work with you? Sure. <laughs> yeah, some folks might take issue with that. Mm, can't make everybody happy. Better than ending up shot. Hey, hey! <laughs> oh, gun down. Life over just like that. I usually get to shoot back. Well, we all wind up dead in the end, don't we? I'd rather live as long as possible. What good is that? Living? What good is living if you ain't happy? Who says I'm not happy? Well, I'm not. You could be. I don't think I could. Well, that does it for the goats. Still uh, thinking about what I've been saying? I haven't stopped. Changed your mind? No. No, I have not.
Last year? Oh, a couple weeks back, Saul came by, said you couldn't make it. Business as usual. Saul had a bucket of chestnuts, asked if pigs could eat them, so we got to talking and I told him about chestnuts. Uh-huh. And what did you learn? Pork tastes better with chestnuts. And most American chestnuts have died off. It's true. Long before you or I was born, the American chestnut was prized for the quality of its wood. Shimmied like that. Oh, that he would, that he would. But this tree, there ain't many like it left. American chestnuts almost all died out because of the Asian fungus around 1900 or so. The chestnut blight. That's what, like a couple hundred thousand trees? Oh, billions. Four billion trees snuffed out practically overnight. Well, lumberjacks suddenly out of work in places like West Virginia. Those economies never recovered. Uh, I thought West Virginia was coal country. Logging, too, before it all died off. Now there's trees like the General here making nuts year-round. And I feed them to the Reds, and they grow nice and fat and tasty. Seems lonely. Uh, it is lonely. Heartbreakingly lonely. To know everyone else you ever loved has passed on. So, I look after him and he looks after me. And I don't know. Sadie and I, we, we talked about being buried here, you know. Changed your mind? Well, Brody's grave was enough for me. But, uh, I don't know. I thought about having him moved. I don't, uh, I don't know. You've got plenty of years left in you yet. So, what's the moral of the story? With the, the trees, I mean. Be wary of outsiders. Heck no. There are trees out there that are blight resistant. Maybe even the general here, but I'm too afraid to find out. With enough time and horticultural understanding, we could have done something. Preserved all these trees? Maybe we could have. They are magnificent. It's just... It's just that... I don't know. I wasn't trying to teach you a lesson or anything. I just... But you did make a point of it. I did do that. I just... It's a part of me is all. And God willing to live for a hundred more years. I'm... I don't know. I see myself as a custodian of sorts. And one day I'm... I just... So I'll go ahead and wait for me at the van. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Look. Look at me. You're thinking about dying. Thinking you can pass this responsibility off to someone else. You don't have to do this. Give the tree another decade of your time. The time of my demise aside, someone ought to know about the tree. Jimmy'd love to know about this. Well, oh, Jimmy would cut it down. <laughs> he would. Please. Don't tell him. Hey, I'm good at keeping secrets, but Jimmy's Jimmy. Please. Let me rest here. And if there's a way, a way to. Okay, okay. But you got more to show me, right? Let's see here. Can you get me that drop light? My eyes aren't what they were. <laughs> <laughs> 